Hungry Horse Reservoir Recreation Area. Welcome back for another Campground Recon Adventure. We're at the Lid Creek Campground. So this one is fourth in a series from uh, Hungry Horse Reservoir in the Flathead National Forest, uh, not far from the west entrance of Glacier National Park. So 19 campgrounds in total all around the lake. Uh, this is our fourth one. Um, probably going to be the last one that I record here. Just not enough time. This whole area around the Flathead, this whole area around the Flathead Valley is, uh, I could spend weeks here recording campgrounds um, and end up with enough campground videos to show you guys for like six months and releasing one a week. Just so much to see and do around here. So I want to make the most of my time and check out a couple other areas besides just circling the entire reservoir here. I do have two bars of LTE service with AT&T, which I've not had much service since I um, got past, crossed over the dam. Um, so I'm not sure what we're close to, or maybe it was just being up high, a higher point coming into this one. So it's a little ways down to the campground from this, uh, from the paved road. shortly. So we're recording in uh, first full week of June 2023. The area has been uh, increasingly bit more busy each day that I've been here. So today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening. I arrived Monday morning and not a lot going on Monday. Traffic around Whitefish really picked up yesterday and even more so today. Made it into the west entrance of Glacier National Park uh, this morning. The road to the sun is still not fully opened yet. It's only open up to Avalanche Lake area. So not real far didn't get to see a lot of the views. Did get to go to McDonald Lake and, and check out some waterfalls and stuff, which were pretty cool. But definitely gonna have to come back and, and spend a vacation here. It's really great. All right, getting into the campground here. Let's see what we've got. First loop, this is site one on the right. We'll see that coming back out. I'll try to pull into as many of these sites as I can that aren't occupied. So two must have been the camp post. Here's three. Pretty small. Sixteen day stay limit here at the campground. And fees are going to be $16 per night. It looks like they do have some double sites, which would be $32 per night. And actually, my service on my AT&T just got better. I've got three bars of LTE down here. And I can see some campsites in the other loop off to my left. Here's site four. 
Actually, I think it's in this loop. It's just the we'll loop around and see it here in a minute. So here's site four. There's a truck camper over there and a site off to the left in between. This doesn't feel quite as overgrown with vegetation. I mean, there's still a lot of vegetation here, but the, the sites aren't as overgrown as uh, the Lost Johnny and Lost Johnny Point campgrounds. Site five. This one's got a little slope to it. Two picnic tables and two fire rings. Hopefully they're not calling this a double site because I'm not sure I could get two cars in here. Trees are just really thick here. It's nice. Site six, off to the right. Oh yeah, this one's longer. You can get a trailer in here. A little stream off to the left. Really nice. like that just for the sound of the running water help you sleep at night also drown out the sound of the grizzly bears We're in grizzly country here lots of places that uh, I've been this week rent bear spray Site seven, that's gonna be a little bit of a harder one to turn into on the right there, so I'll skip that, very similar to the previous. A one-seater restroom or outhouse. Okay, I guess there could be parking here. A picnic table and fire ring up, up there, but it belongs here in site eight that I'm gonna fall into. I don't know if that's officially supposed to be a parking spot, but it looks like it's been used as one. on some sites with a view of uh, Hungry Horse Reservoir here in a second. Some, some lake view sites. Nine being one of those. You can see through the trees there, see the lake. Not really even on this one. You'd have to jack up whatever end of your RV is closest to the road. Not very level. Site 10 coming up on the right. It looks like it's a, a reservable site. I like 10. So there's another loop that'll be closer to the water. I'm excited to see what what is there. Normally we're running a second camera, but since I flew into, uh, into Kalispell, into Glacier International Airport, I had to pack light. Hmm, a little parking spot off to the left here, so I guess you could put an RV into, or a fifth wheel in one of these and park your truck nearby. Site 11. So, you know, only the front camera this time. I don't have a side camera, which I would love to have. So I wouldn't have to pull into all these sites just with the vegetation. It's hard to, hard to show you guys what these look like. Here's 12. So the outhouse is back through the trees there.
like 13. This would be a walk-in site, which I guess uh, not really a walk-in site, but one that's non-reservable. A little downhill to the picnic table. If you got bad knees, you might not like that. It's 13. 14 is the white truck over here with a camper in front of it or trailer. Fifteen was on the right. It was pretty nice. Sixteen on the left. Not too shabby. Here's one I can give you a view of without pulling in. Seventeen. It's a short one. Just small RV camper van. One thing about small RVs: uh, twenty-one foot is the length limit for Glacier National Park to take an RV in there. It's Eighteen on the right. It's pretty good views. 19 on the left, pull into 19. In all of the campgrounds that I saw, which was only I think three or four today uh, in Glacier National Park, um, all are reservation only. Truck camper is going to be in site 20. Off to my left is a short site for site 21. Let's look at 22. Picnic table is off to the left. Actually, pretty level to get to the picnic table. Restroom. Twenty-three is the site that I'm pulling into now. <laughs> All right, trash dumpsters, and we should be coming back out. Let's see site. Three, I believe it was, all right, the camp post, and then site one is going to be the site on the left here. So there's site one. Yeah, it's, it's one of those that if you came up here and couldn't find anything else, it would be okay. It does have a pretty good view of the lake through the trees there. It's pretty exciting. I wasn't sure if I was going to get time to come out and uh, do any recon, look at campgrounds, but timing all worked out with my day. So I believe we got two more loops here, or maybe that's just beach access. Okay, no, we're not camping down there. Ah, it looks like this is just a loop. So I was wrong. I was going off what I had seen on the map. Oh, well. Access to the lake here. Pretty nice. A lot of beach front there. Not really beach, it's, it's all gravel. Not too shabby. I like it. There you go. Montana campground number four. Lid Creek. Thanks for watching.